Hello guys, how are you doing? In today's workout, we will target shoulders, biceps and triceps. Now, we've been training for quite some time and I know it's been uh, an intense weekend. We tried targeting uh, the core to the max and I'm sure you were successful because I was successful if you followed the workout all this while. So we did a bit of Muay Thai, legs and stuff. So let's make it happening. Let's do shoulders, biceps and triceps. The whole idea of the workout is to keep our body in a state of LISS, a low intensity steady state where we'll be lifting the weights, reaching muscle hypertrophy and by the end of the workout we'll end up being vascular, muscular with those aesthetic and beautiful looking arms. Let's start off with the first workout, just warm up and begin. If you have warmed up, start off immediately. If not, pause the video, warm up and then start off. So the very first workout of the day, assuming you've warmed up, we start targeting our biceps. So it's a triple superset that you'll be doing. First, targeting the biceps in the first two supersets and the third set is going to be precisely for the shoulder part of your biceps. You're gonna repeat it thrice. So this is how it's gonna look like. A static hold basically means dumbbells held underhand, not in a dynamic manner, but holding it underhand like a barbell. So finish off nine reps, bottom to mid bottom to mid completely focusing on the biceps the moment you're done with that with the nine reps keep the dumbbells at the mid area finish off nine reps mid to up mid to up a slight tilt on your wrist touching the dumbbell head to your shoulder will give an additional stretch or contraction to your tendon finish off nine reps the moment you're done with that all you've got to do is raise your elbows up, underhand grips, since these are light dumbbells that you'll be taking, finish off 30 overhead presses. So don't take heavy weights, take lighter weights in the first set, you're just starting off. You're gonna do it thrice before moving on to the next workout. So keep a gap of 45 seconds between every set, uh, finish this off. Till then, pause the video if you got it. If not, go back, understand how you do it. Bottom to mid nine, mid to up nine, and then overhead shoulder presses 30. That's what you're gonna do. Pause the video, then move on to the next workout. For the next set of workout, take moderate weights, not too heavy, not too light. The first three sets I did with five kgs. In the next one, I'm gonna take seven and a half kgs each. Similar set, but the difference lies with the grip. So here, if you see my grip is different, it's in a dynamic range. I'm gonna go bottom to mid, twisting my wrist and going all the way down. The whole idea of twisting the wrist is to get an additional stretch around the black eye. So twisting up, going down. Twisting up, going down down extending the arms completely finishing off nine reps in this manner after that go in a mid range this is the grip again the hammer hammer grip so twist touch the dumbbell head to the shoulders get back into the hammer twist mid to up mid to up twist mid to up twist nine reps the moment you're done you're still going to continue with the front overhead presses initially the grip was underhand this time the grip will be hammer grip Finish off nine overhead presses with the elbows close to one another. So again, I repeat, dynamic hold, twist your wrist, twist your wrist to mid, finish off nine reps. Twist your wrist to mid, finish off nine reps, targeting the tendon. From the mid, twist your wrist to up, get back into hammer fist. Twist your wrist to up, get back into hammer fist. Hold them right in front of your face, elbows closer. 30 repetition, 3, 0, 30. Yes, with the moderate weights as well. Targeting the front shoulders, targeting the biceps, finish off this set thrice with a break of 45 seconds. The moment you're done with that, you move on to the next workout. Till then, pause the video. If you haven't gotten any part of it, just rewind, watch, continue. In the third workout, you'll take the heaviest weight that you have at the moment. This is going to be the overhead shoulder presses the 369 reps so raise the shoulders up with the heaviest dumbbells finish off three archer 
presses. One, two, two, three, three. That's how you finish three. Get down, finish off. Six, bottom, two up. Bottom, two up in this range. Finish off six, six each. Once those six are done together, finish nine reps. Now, the moment you're done with that, you're not going to stop because with the same heavyweight dumbbells, here I've taken 12 and half kgs. I'm going to go nine reps, full bicep range. One, two, two. As you can see, a full range, twisting the wrist, giving a further adduction, giving a further contraction to my biceps. So first, I'm going to target the shoulders, holding the shoulders, holding the dumbbells up, finishing off three, three, two, two, one, one, three like these, six like these, one, one, bottom two up, bottom two up. And once I'm done with that, I'm going to go together, nine, I don't stop. I'm going to go single hand, bicep curls. That's my one set. I'll repeat it thrice with the heaviest weights. Finish this off before moving on to the next workout. I'm going to go back to the light weighted dumbbells. So either moderate weight or light weight. 5 kgs is good for me. Because I'm going to do the side lateral raises. Take a posture, chest up, back arch, neck in line with the spine. Uh, dumbbells right next to your hips. So it's a combination set first. You're going to do 9 reps here of side lateral raises. Hands straight, fist at the level of your shoulder. Hammer curl, one, side, hammer curl, two, side, hammer curl, three. So in total, I'm going to do nine combination sets. The moment I'm done with nine combination sets, I'm just going to do the side lateral raises. Nine, eight, seven, finish off nine reps like these. I'm not going to keep the dumbbells away. I'll continue doing the hammer curls. Nine. Eight, seven. So all three supersets that I'm going to do here, starting with a combination and single muscle groups, will be in nine reps. That's your one set. You've got to repeat it thrice. So first is the side to hammer, nine. Side laterals, nine. Hammer curls, nine. The moment you're done with these three sets, these three supersets, you move on to the next workout. So pause the video here. It's now time to move on to the front shoulders again. So I'm going to take the moderate weights here, seven and a half kgs. Now look at the grip very carefully. I do understand there are many people who advocate an overhand grip for front raises. Now, while I understand uh, it's something that many people across the world like to do, there's a convenient way of doing it, which will still affect the same muscle group, which has to be affected while doing the front raises, which is having a hammer fist raising the dumbbells up and down, keeping the hands straight. Two, down. Three, down. So total finish of nine reps of front raises. And the moment you're done with that, it's a superset. Just double supersets here. Take the lightweighted hex dumbbells. We've done it earlier. Place them on the wall and a diamond push-up. One, two, Three. With a static hold on the wall, we do the diamond push-ups. In total, we're going to do nine reps of these. Both move on to the next workout then. It's now time for you to do the overhead dumbbell tricep extensions for your triceps. So there are two ways of doing it. Either take two 5 kgs, club them together, bring your elbows closer. Raise them up, take your elbows behind your ears, down, up, down, up. So in total, I'm going to do 30 repetitions. Yes, 3, 0, 30. Trust me, it's easy. You can do 30. You need to feel the burn around the triceps. That's the whole goal. So all the three sets you do are of 30 reps here. If you feel that particular form is kind of uh, uncomfortable, or well, you can take a single dumbbell here of, this is 12 and a half kgs. Holding it here, chest up, back arch, elbow behind my ears, two, three, four, so in total 30 reps. 
three sets is what you've got to do before you move on to the next workout, again targeting the triceps. It's the tricep dips. So be seated, keep your hand right next to your hips where it is. Have a nice and a firm grip. Elbows have to be locked. Shift your body weight forward on your heels. Now, you've got to do nine reps, concentrated dips. And I mean concentrated, when your elbows are locked, count three seconds. One, two, three. Down. Two, two, three. Down. Three, two, three. Down. So in total, nine reps like these. Every dip that you take and come up, feel the burn right at the area where it has to be. The mind and muscle connection has to be at the triceps. That's the place which needs to be targeted. Nine reps with a static hold of three seconds per rep. Do it thrice, then move on to the next part, which is stretching. Okay, now it is time for you to stretch. Once done with targeting your shoulders, biceps and triceps, I'm sure the workout was less, but the intensity of workout on the muscle was way too high. The impact was way too high in a positive way. Uh, Obviously, we didn't use any machine. That's the surprising part that I'm sure you must have also figured out with just a pair of dumbbells. You can also get pumped the way I'm pumped right now. I love practicing what I preach. That's why even I train at home with just a bunch of dumbbells, a pull-up bar, doing some push-ups, pull-ups, but in a very sequential manner. If you would like to continue progressing on a daily basis, I would advise you to keep this habit ongoing for the longest period of time. And trust me, every time you pack your back for a wonderful workout done, you're just giving an additional boost of dopamine and gratitude to the universe who is giving you a very healthy physique back in return. So enough said, let's stretch. First thing, palm on the opposite shoulder. You start stretching the triceps, just pull the elbow downward, feel the triceps down. Pull the other one. Both of them done. Hands on your hips. Upside down. Chest up, back arch. Look straight. Pull your elbow behind. Lean back. Pull your elbow forward. Make a palm. Chest up, back arch. Pull your palm out. Pull your elbow below the chin. Pull the elbow below the chin. Once done with that, place your elbow and the palm on the side of the wall. Flex on the opposite side, feel the stretch around the chest. Feel the chest around the stretch. Feel the stretch around the chest, I'm sorry. Place your palm at the bottom of the wall. Twist on the opposite side. Twist on the opposite side. So that's it for the day. Although the workout was on a low intensity, steady state, trust me, you burned close to 350 to 450 calories, depending upon your body mass. If uh, you're a little heavier on the weighing scale, it could have ranged between 450 to 500 calories as well. Focus on your nutrition. Do stay in touch with me to know what's the right thing to eat, what's not the right thing to eat. And do share your nutrition uh, goals with me. Where have you reached? How much have you achieved? And what have you been eating on a daily basis while sharing your progress as far as, uh, you know, the workout in intensity is concerned, how you're coping up with it and how you're getting better at it. And I'm sure you're not getting better. You're just getting best at doing what you were doing yesterday. Thank you very much.